This video is an exploration of the topic, Verifying a Trigonometric Identity. For this topic, we will need to complete the proofs of various trigonometric identities by selecting the correct rule for each step. These are the fundamental trigonometric identities that will be used in the proofs. You will need to determine whether each step uses rules from reciprocal identities, quotient identities, Pythagorean identities, or odd-even function identities. Are these all the rules that we will be using? There is actually one more. A step may require you to perform an algebraic manipulation. If this is the case, algebra will be the input for the rule. Let's practice an example. Complete the proof of the identity by choosing the rule that justifies each step. The problems for this topic will give you the proof already written out. In other topics, you will need to write the steps yourself. The proof of this trigonometric identity transforms the right side of the equation until it is equal to the left side. Starting with the first step, the secant squared of x minus 1 changes to tangent squared of x. Referring to the list of rules, what type of rule is this substitution? It would be a Pythagorean identity. Correct. Using the second identity listed, we can subtract 1 from both sides of the equation to get tangent squared of u equals secant squared of u minus 1. This clarifies why this substitution was made for the first step. Now, what changed in the second step? Instead of cosecant squared of x, there is now 1 over sine squared of x. That's right. Looking at the list of rules, this is a reciprocal identity. What about the third step? Tangent squared of x is transformed to sine squared of x over cosine squared of x. It looks like this is done using the quotient identity that states that tangent of x equals sine of x over cosine of x. Great work! Now, step 4 is achieved through algebraic manipulation. The sine squared of x term in the numerator of the first fraction cancels with the sine squared of x term in the denominator of the second fraction, simplifying to 1 over cosine squared of x. So, the rule you would input for step 4 is algebra. What is the rule for the last step? The rule for the last step is the quotient identity because 1 over cosine of x equals secant of x. You referenced the correct rule, but I think you meant to say reciprocal identity instead of the quotient identity, which is correct. By transforming the right side of the equation to be identical to the left, we proved that the original equation was true. Soon you will no longer need the list of rules to do these problems.